Hello, welcome to episode 23 of my blind let's play of Lord of the Elden Rings Shadow of the Erd Tree. <sighs> we are in Castle Insis, using our most smoothest, most natural voices to overcome all foes of goodness and decency aligned with Mesmer the Impaler. They must all be destroyed. You son of a gun. How dare you commit evil upon me. I forgot that I didn't have my second weapon out, so I hit L1 to attack and it hit fuck all. Clearly I've been hypnotized by the evil Mesmer. And he will pay for it. <laughs> what the fuck is that place up there? Some kind of church of holy bullshit. piece of string to tie around Mesmer's dick and hang him off the side of the castle. Cool new torch. That's some poor pathetic soul's head. I don't know who made all these pathetic barrels that can be destroyed just by someone rolling into them. Pretty cool looking. It's a nice contrast between the dark and the light. Who the fuck is nearby stopping me from looking at my map? Some pathetic pile of crap, no doubt. Go up this ladder and destroy this cheap little enemy trying to destroy me from above. 
Oh god. All right, yeah, I gotta give the voice a rest. <laughs> My throat, does she scream at me? She said, why you do this to me? You need more pizza. Less screaming in your low voice. Okay. Somber six. Have I been down there? I can't tell. being assaulted by a fly. Aristocrat boots. Yeah, who the fuck else is around here stopping me from opening my fucking map? I'm not even at the main part of the castle yet, it looks like. Okay. Aristocrat boots. Okay. Yeah, these guys are not even exclusive to the DLC. Neither is their equipment, seemingly. the fuck are you? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Moon Mutma Moon Rithil Carry a Knight. Yikes. Yikes. That's a lot of health. Well, holy fuckeroonie. Fucking right. Well, that was awesome. Moonrathil's night nice sword. It's it's like uh, call back to Irathil. Dude, I can't believe they're gonna make me burn that fucking tree down. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be a magic sword. Yes. Greatsword embedded with a blue glint stone, the favored weapon of the steadfast carrion knight Moonrithil. Yeah, Irithil. Moonrithil was the twin moon knight's chamberlain. Oh, so I'm going to be fighting a twin moon knight, sounds like. Oh, this is a, a female. She was also a friend to the trolls who served the royal family and proudly wielded their weapons as she fought arm in arms with her gargantuan arm in arm with her her gargantuan comrades. Tremendous Phalanx, skill of the enchanted troll knights, creates a defensive arch of enormous magic glint blades overhead, which automatically attack nearby foes. Cool. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, that was sweet that they gave you a way to attack that knight from behind. Embrace your child and give us a sign. How long must this holy war stretch on? She's talking about Mesmer. Or he's talking about Mesmer. Rolana's cameo. Is that a shield? Enhances attacks executed after maintaining the same stance for a while. A gallant portrait of Rolana, the Twin Moon Knight. So if you have an attack that has a stance, which is something I saw a lot more of in um, uh, Dark Souls 3. Or maybe it's just exclusive to certain weapons. Like, uh, I imagine maybe Katana is definitely uh, thrusting swords. Enhances, uh, yeah, engraved as a reminder of the unparalleled devotion of those who left their homelands to serve Rolana. By your leave, we will accompany you wherever your lunar vessel takes you. Huh. Alrighty. Oh! Oh boy. Okay. Lazuleaf Glintstone Sword. I think that is something that I already had access to. There's this little tiny fly in my room that's like trying to fly in my fucking mouth. Okay. So that was that enemy, right? Yeah. It's a nice looking fireplace. Blue fireplace. Blue fire, there's a fucking excellent game. I mean, I would absolutely do a let's play of that game. I'd have to buy it again since I own it on the Switch. But there's a fucking excellent, excellent, excellent game. Kind of like a 3D Hollow Knight. Blue fire. I, that game deserves a lot more popularity. Whoa. Another one up above. Holy fuck. It homes, so you can't just outrun it. Nothing to drop off onto there. 
All right, well, fuck it, let's go here. I don't know how I get back up, but I suppose I'll find out. Probably leads me up to where that magic guy is, actually. It's probably a ladder. Yep. Do gem. Jerk. Hmm. Oh, hello. Okay. Perfumer's bolt. Is it going to let me down inside of this building? I guess I've already been in it partially. Okay. I see you. Number two. Did I go up that set of stairs? can't can't remember or can't figure that out okay glint blade trio I feel like I should drop down there fuck I might have to It's sigil that forms three projectile glint blades after delay. All right. That's that place. I thought this was that place. How did I not notice this over here? So I could have already come over here. Oh, fuck. My eyes hurt. I might have to take a break after this episode. Holy crap. I hope nobody attacks me because I gotta rub my eyes. Holy shit. All of a sudden, my eyes are fucking killing me. take a bunch of my mom's empty beer cans to the beer store so I might uh, take a break after this and go do that and then just go for a little bit of a drive or something Crest shield.
Blue Shield Wolf under the moon. Excels at fending off sorceries. Okay. Wolf is the beast of Carrion Royal Covenant, a symbol of the moon's pride that none can forget, no matter what remote lands they may arrive in. Yeah, this is a red shield, winged serpent, guarding against fire. Gotcha. Ugh. All right, here we are. Let's continue. Continues along here and then up to there. Huh. Very interesting. Oh fuck. Dogs down there too. Okay. the last one. Somber six. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, my hometown is pretty nice. Nice place to go for a drive when the weather's good. Or just go sit parked along the canal. I live in, well, I grew up. I don't live here anymore. Grew up in uh, Port Colborne, Ontario. Oh, fuck. Which is part of the Niagara region, so it's close to Niagara Falls. It's got the Welland Canal running through it, which is... A nice place to park. Oh, the Welland Canal connects uh, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, two of the Great Lakes. Imbued sword key. New, new type of stone sword key. Unseals sending gate but disappears upon use. Stone key shape, shaped like a sword. Imbued with rich blue magic. Breaks the seal on the imp statues guarding the sending gates enshrined in each belfry but remains embedded in the statue after use. Think well before using one. Oh, fuck. I haven't even found any of those yet, but obviously I'm going to find some. Who are you? Oh, are you another one of those hammer knights? Yeah. Yeah, there's no sneaking up on you, is there?
Wait. Fuck. Yes. Oh, that was sick. That's a good skill. Like, especially on a guy with a shield. That worked quite well. Fucking right. I love when you roll through something and pieces of it just go absolutely flying. It's pretty funny. Alright, I guess I do need the torch still. Okay. Let's go up. Yeah. Anything underneath it? They do not use that fucking trick very much at all in this game. There were a couple of catacombs in the main game that had stuff underneath them, but... Not very many. I'm trying to think what game that was used a lot in. I think it was Dark Souls 2, where there would be stuff underneath uh, those quite a bit of the time. Or maybe it was Elden Ring I'm thinking of. Maybe a lot of the catacombs had stuff like that. Spin my camera, make sure I don't miss any secret passages halfway up. Sight of Grace. I have to check my chest. I could probably get another level up. Yeah, let's sort the chest. Um, I guess I'll keep those out. That one's not new. I feel like that's not new. Okay, hmm. so Black Knight. I swear I have another piece of Black Knight equipment. I mean, did I sell it? Oh, here we go, here we go. Cool it away by accident okay um, how much for a level up I need 4,000 more
Cool. <laughs> it revived all the shit I broke. God damn it. Okay, so I feel like I should jump down there. Have I already been down here? Really don't know. What's the name of this? Lord's Chamber. Okay, so I'm I'm committed to basically leaving the castle at this point, it looks like. I can't use uh my wildebeest horse yet. No. Was there a wolf out here? Just friendly woodland creatures. Well, it looks like I'm going to be going into this tower to reintegrate with the castle. That's kind of cool. Yeah, neat. Yeah, this castle's all right. I mean, it's a cool enough place, but it's extremely linear. It's it's not like Stormvale Castle where you can explore it just about any way you want to. Okay, is there a path this way? Unless I'm able to jump down onto there. That's what that's how I entered, right? Yes. Yes it is. Okay, so it looks like I keep climbing upwards. Maybe. I mean I might just warp back to the site of grace. She just keeps on a going up. Yeah, I guess the way back without warping is jumping down onto that bridge. Oh, there's that too. Ash of War Wing Stance. Only usable on light great swords. Which I only have one of. Sash of War grants an armament the quality affinity, which is dexterity, and the following skill. Calmly assume a right sided stance. Normal attack. Okay, and that would be usable with that talisman I just got that gives you extra attack if you stay in stance for a while. Normal attack triggers a rapid three slash combination. Strong attack triggers a leaping thrust. Well, that's kind of neat. If I were a dexterity user, I would totally use that. Okay. Boom. 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 Um. I mean, yeah, I feel like let's just warp. Cool.
All right, onward and upward. Oh! Oh. Is this gonna be the Twin Moon Knight or whatever? Oh, it's a fucking major boss too. Dang, cutscene boss. Oh, cool, I'm stoked. No cutscene. Rolana, the Twin Moon Knight. Probably not backstabbable, if I had to guess. Well, ho! Fuck. Oh man, that seems like a difficult boss. I think I may have seen someone. I definitely have heard the name of this boss before. I feel like uh, I saw maybe that nefarious guy refer to this boss as the new Pontiff Sullivan. I feel like I saw somebody refer to this as the new Pontiff Sullivan. Which, uh, well, Pontiff Sullivan wasn't the worst boss, it wasn't the greatest boss. He was like my least favorite out of the bosses I liked in Dark Souls 3, or my my most favorite out of the bosses I disliked. Um, yeah, I can see this boss being a little bit of a pain. I should real. Uh, I'm not... Uh, so far, I didn't see a lot of... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, Like, breaking her stance... Um, okay, I got 22 minutes left in this episode. I think I'll just try and... Like, fuck the twin sword thing. I, f I think let's just do this. Let's wear as good of, like, armor as I can. Maybe Can I do all Lionel stuff? Probably. Lionel is probably better than even the Black Knight stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm on heavy load right now. Hold on. Oh, because I have this thing. Um, Alright, fuck that thing. Wait a minute. I'm still on heavy load? How? Oh, because this sword is heavier than, than that one. I see. swear that all right let's try this um, probably that will help me out and then yeah I mean if I'm gonna try using my projectile hit with this uh, sword then I might as well wear the thing that recovers my magic slowly Yeah, I can see this being a tough boss. Oh! She's like, yeah, I have one of those too. Hers hits farther than mine, though. It's going to be just about figuring out the combos. I mean, I do a good amount of damage to her. Jeez. I mean, I'm sure I could stance break her. Yeah, 
Interesting. <laughs> I could see this being a kind of enjoyable boss. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight her. Um, I don't know that I'll beat her. But I'll, I'll fight her for the next 19 minutes, and then uh, then I'll take a break, go for a little drive, go to the grocery store, take back those beer cans for my mom, and, uh, and then come back, probably play a few more episodes later today, after I've given my eyes a break, <laughs> gotten some real fucking natural sunlight into my eyes. Hmm... <laughs> yeah, this is going to be all about just learning her combos. They seem like not the worst ones to figure out how to dodge. <laughs> Fucking fly bugging me, you piece of crap. Yeah, if I can hit one of those hits here and there, that will definitely help. Okay. Yikes. This actually seems like kind of a fun boss, to be honest. Dang it. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my god! Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, I'm doing a lot of damage to her, which is nice. You know, that, that's like 55% uh, health remaining there. That's that's solid. Solid, decent, not bad. Got to figure out what are good punishes for her. I mean, maybe equipping my second sword would be nice, but then I'm just going to be taking quite a bit more damage from her because I'll have to downscale my armor. But then again, I'm going to be relying on just not getting hit a lot of the time anyway. Maybe the extra damage would be nice, considering it, it seems like I'm going to be wanting to go for a lot of small hits and jump attacks. And, like, not getting in combos since I can't uh, stun her. Better versus Slash. 12.9, 12.1. Okay, and more poise. Oh, and I have the hood on. But I could put on better. Okay. 
All right, let's try this. Yeah, I think this is a fun fight. Seems pretty cool. Oh, I should have used this first. No biggie. Okay, so don't dodge right away when she does her little side dodge. Okay, this seems fun actually. This is what I talk what I mean when I say like characters should have like a theme, like a constitution where all of their moves kind of look a certain way so you can start to understand visually what to do to like dodge them. Th this person this this boss is kind of like that. You can kind of tell the way she likes to move and when she likes to, like, when she's, like, charging up her swing and when she's about to, like, fire off her slash. That one's a bit tricky. I should stay close so I can get in hits. Oh, man, the combo just keeps fucking going. Oh shit! Dodged a little bit too early there. Okay. Dodged a little bit too late there. Damn it. I'm just not I not getting close enough to hit her. Uh, and I really got to memorize when the combos end. Some combos end after like one or two hits and then some are like 5 6 7 hits long. I enjoy this boss, though. This is a boss I don't mind fighting over and over. I feel like I'm learning something every time I fight it. I don't feel like I'm just getting fucking cheap shot over and over. She's got a couple tricky things where one where she'll like dodge to the side and then attack. One where she dodges into you and then doesn't have to attack right away. She's got a few crazy magic attacks. The worst of it is probably the sword she summons over her head and then she doesn't fire them off right away. Because then she's kind of doing, like, some comboing against you. Kind of like in Street Fighter, firing off a slow fireball and then moving into attack. Giving the opponent two things to think about at once. I just need to, like, I need to dodge close to her. And probably I could, like, some combos might end. This is a short run back, too. I like it. Some combos might end on upward sword slash where I could jump over it and jump attack her at the end. So let's uh, let's let's get this. Let's get this cool arena to fight in too. Not a lot of bullshit to dodge. Lots of room. I've always said the night bosses are my favorite to fight. Oh, and you can wind up underneath some of her slashes from your jump attack. Yeah, that upward slash, you're not jumping over that, that's for sure. I tried to heal twice, that didn't happen. Uh-oh. Oh, that one came out faster than expected. Oh, man! I didn't like that. I mean, I got a fair and square punish it, and then she's just able to attack me before I can, like, get away with the punish. Oh, that's very fast that that comes out.
Whoops. Maybe I should be trying for more jump attacks. Wonder if you can stunt a uh, posture breaker. You have to be able to. I mean, you don't have to be able to. M most bosses you can. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's tricky. I, I feel like at some point I'm gonna figure out What's the right way to approach this boss? What are the safe hits I can get in? I'm 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 definitely dodge rolling too much. Like I'm dodging extra times when I don't need to. But there's a lot going on. Oh, jeez. Need to pick my heels right so I don't get smoked with magic. Too far away. You don't have much of a window to punish there. I'm getting overwhelmed and I'm like getting flustered and like hitting the wrong buttons and shit. Okay. Second sword swipe comes out faster than I thought. I'm doing okay, but not great. I'm not doing good enough yet where I feel like I'm going to get her. Like, okay. I feel like the two sword thing is fun, but I feel like I'm more concentrated when I have less buttons to use and... I'm just using one sword. I feel like I should go back to one sword. This will be my last fight. Only have four and a half minutes. Come on, load. Fuck. Okay. So 
solitude, solitude. Can I do three solitude and then this? No. If I take this off, am I good? Yeah. No helmet. All right, let's do that. I can put on a different wondrous physic. That's true. Hmm. Let's just get this off my screen. I seem to, like, magically dodge her shit a lot of the time when I'm in the middle of that. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina to finish that off. That sucks. Then again, sometimes I mysteriously miss her. Wait for that to recharge. Damn! Ah, I hate when that comes out fast like that. She fucking interrupted my fucking jumping attack? That's dumb. That's fucking dumb. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Alright. Uh, thank you for watching episode 23 my blind let's play of shadow of the erg tree like comment share subscribe let me know what you think of my let's play of my smooth and totally natural deep and sexy voice uh of this dlc of your life let me know how your life's going hope life's going well for you uh and let me, while I have about 60 seconds left, if it'll ever fucking load, you son of a bitch, let me check and see. Get the fuck in there. What else I could put into my wondrous physic that might be better for this battle somehow? Healing, health restore, stamina, stamina, dexterity, no. Magic attacks, fire attacks, lightning attacks, Holy attacks. I don't I can't use any of that, right? Um Break enemy stances. I mean I could use that right away and then just bum rush her and try and break her stance quickly. Charged attacks, I'm never getting those off probably. Yeah, so really it's just um the stance breaking that maybe could be handy. If it's even possible to break her stance. Anyhow, alright, that's it. See you in episode 24.